All right, what's up YouTube? So I'm just gonna make this quick video about um, basically when I first got my DIN in and I switched from optical uh, touch link to HDMI, I always noticed that the, the level, the volume level always seemed like way, way low. You know, I'd have to go to the maximum volume le level to actually get some, you know, some good sound out of it. But, uh, you know, so it was like a big, huge gap and I, and there's no setting and there, nothing would change it. Um, and the Denon, basically it's grayed out. And I went, looked, uh, I Googled it, looked on YouTube, whatever. Everybody basically agreed that for some reason, HDMI, uh, the level was always really low. And I could never really figure it out. Well, the other day I was messing around in my Denon, cause that's what I do, I always tinker, but I was messing around in my Denon and, um, and I actually figured out how to increase the sensitivity or the source level. So let me show you. So basically where this is where I was as far as volume. So let me see what I'm at. I think I'm at volume. So I'm at volume neg 40 dB on the Denon. And this is going through my amplifier. So let's listen to the volume level. Or 65, uh, 800 D. And it was a decent TV until I got some upgrades. Uh, some firmware upgrades. So that volume is slowed everything down. It's pretty low. And that's negative 40. So let's go, let's increase it to, so it's a little louder. Um, Let's call it way to 30. Was, it was a TV. So moving to this LG C9 OLED. Okay, so that's um, negative 30. Man, this TV is awesome. So you can see the level, um, are sound they expensive? level. Yes. Is it if you watch you like watching movies, you like playing video games, doing that kind of Okay, so let's pause that. Now I gotta switch this. It's I have everything E arc, so the on screen doesn't come on unless I switch to the input. So let's go back to the den and let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's go here and then we're going to go to setup. Okay, so this is your Denon's uh, menu, right? So then we're going to go to inputs because that's, see right here where it, the source level is grayed out. You can't, you can't click on it. You can't adjust it because it's grayed out. Well, if you, from the beginning I had, um, even after I switched everything over to eARC, the HDMI, you see my uh, LG OLED is on HDMI, right? So it doesn't allow you to adjust the source level. Well, I mean, why would I have any of these other things assigned when I don't have anything plugged into them, right? Well, the other day I was messing around in here and I was looking at the digital. And I was like, wait, well, HDMI is digital. So I just clicked it, right? Oop, I clicked it. I switched it over to optical one. And then I went back. Right, so it takes a second, like it does something inside the receiver, switches something. So then I was like, oh look, I could change the source level, which I had done that before, but I never actually went and tested the volume. So let's increase this to, uh, so let's click on it. Let's, let's just increase it all the way to 12. That's the maximum you can go on here, right? Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so let's switch back to the video so we can see the volume difference. And I'm going to go all the way to plus 12 and all the way to minus 12 so we can actually see the big difference. So let's go back to NVIDIA Shield. And then let's play. So I don't know if you can kind of remember the old one, but like I said, I'm going to try to do this all in one take so it's going to be hard to differentiate. So I'm going to shut up at some point and then just try to do it as fast as I can back and forth so you can see it actually does change it. And stuff, this TV is well worth it. It, I mean, it's just, it's awesome. The picture's awesome. Um... You know what, let me switch to, uh... okay, so that was plus 12. I'm just pausing the video real quick in between. Okay, and this is minus 12. I don't even know if you can hear that, but. So you see the volume level. I mean, it's, it's super low. You can't even hardly hear it. Um, and that's eARC. Back from my, uh, so basically all my HDMI's go to my TV and then I have one HDMI cable going back to my receiver, the Denon 4500H. So you can see the volume level differences. So let's just do it all in one take. I kind of did it trying to pause it. So, you know, it's more dramatic, but 
So basically you see what minus 12 dB does on the source level. So let's just, let's just let it play. And then let's see if I can increase the volume as it's playing. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's go. Like I said, we're going to lose picture, but so let's go. Actually, it's not going to work because I have to switch inputs. Okay, so let's just do it all in one take. So you can see what I'm saying. So that was minus 12 on the source level. Okay. Let's go back to inputs. Let's go back to source level. And then let's go all the way up to, let's just go to 12. I probably won't, I, actually I won't keep it there. I think I had it at nine because 12 seemed like too much. But, um, but let's go to 12 so we can listen to it. Right here, this UPS, um, it I'm has gonna, a battery backup, so I have the my server and stuff connected to it for the battery backup, and I have some of my electronics here hooked up to it. I haven't changed any um, volume. I really should make a video about that, but by itself, but, but see, the 12 seems so like too much. I still much. have the 918. The 12 definitely seems like too much, so let's go back to, I had it at 9, I think, uh, I wish there was a way, a way to, you know, level gain match these this equipment you know it's not like oh i forgot to hit the button it's not like uh like a car at stereo amplifiers you know that's they have game matching so i don't know i'm not sure if it's just different you not you don't have to i don't know but let's go to source level so let's i'm going to increase this to probably let's say nine let's say eight okay and then actually i like doing it in increments of three so let's just do nine um so let's hit this let's go back let's go back to the video should just automatically play uh one thing i will say about that see uh, it's still pretty it's still pretty good a, before on 12 though it just seems way too much when i hooked up that amplifier so let me lower this down make a humongous difference did it make a little bit of difference especially let me lower it. see that's that's 50 uh, negative 50 volume so let's lower that way down. But anyways, so in the in the settings, actually let's go back. And that so if you leave that optical basically turned on, it enables you to adjust that source level on the HDMI, which I, I it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know if you're not supposed to do this, but I had it at uh, plus nine, and I listened to I was watching some movies, it's just some music, or whatever. And it doesn't appear to affect the quality of the sound at all. It did It did kind of seem at plus 12, it did affect it. But at, um, I'm sorry, let's go back here. But at the plus nine, it, it didn't, I didn't really see a difference. You know, maybe, you know, you can adjust it if this, if your receiver, you're able to do this. But like I said, switching, I basically just went to digital. I turned on the optical. Um, and that enabled me to adjust the source level and that's it i mean i don't know it uh i've never been i've never <laughs> was able to do that before now my receiver and my amplifier it seems more optimized like as if it's more where it was supposed to be it just seemed like the source level maybe the you know the voltage uh coming out of the receiver was just too low on uh, you know from the input from the hdmi so it's almost like uh, game matching, you know, but um, anyways, that was just a quick video about uh, one of the settings that I did recently figure out in this Denon, and uh, I hope maybe that helps somebody, but if you want to increase the volume on your HDMI input, the source level input, and uh, just to balance out the volume a little bit. Uh, hopefully maybe if, well, definitely if you have a Denon, that probably will work and it might even work for maybe an, uh, a different kind of receiver, but at least it's something you can go in there and mess with and, and check it out, see if it works. Anyway, signing off. Everybody have a good day. Peace.